Now we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to blur the background, for example in a photo. Let me start with this one. First step is to copy it. And let me rename this foreground. Any other one is going to be my blurred background. For now both are identical. So if I make the foreground invisible, you don't see a difference. Let's start with the foreground. I use the Paths tool and now it's all about selecting what you don't want to have blurred. If you're totally new to GIMP, you can use the Paths tool like this. So just left click and go over the outline. Don't worry too much about curves for now. Once you've reached the starting point, just hold Ctrl and left click. That will close your shape. And now you can adjust it by hovering over these lines and simply left clicking and dragging. And then you have handles to adjust the angle. You can also reposition these anchor points, just left click on them and drag them. For some images, the Paths tool is not the best to select. I've made videos about basically all selection methods in GIMP. Just check out my playlist. You should find it in the video description below. I'm going to speed this video up a little bit now as it's just repetitive. Repositioning these anchor points, dragging the lines and adjusting the curves. Once you're happy with the results, right click, select and use from path. This will select your outline. Then right click on your foreground layer, add a layer mask, select selection and click on add. So now my foreground is selected and I've added a mask to it. And if I adjust the background, this will not be affected anymore. But be careful, when you just do it like this, you're not going to see an effect. I'm using the Gaussian Blur here on the filters and Blur. And nothing's going to happen, it's because of the selection. So let me cancel this. You first have to go to Select and Use None. So if you run into this problem, make sure everything is deselected and then apply the filter Gaussian Blur. I'll just click on Reshow. And now you can see my background layer is fully blurred and the foreground it's unblurred. I'm fine with this value, so I'll confirm it. And when I make the foreground invisible, you can see what's actually happening here. So the entire background is being blurred. While well, the foreground only shows the model. And this is why we have this effect that we want. And this is how you can blur the background in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.